If you found this video online, it's likely that you are already looking for some plans on how to build a rocket stove um, in various sizes. This one is uh, one for camping that I'm going to show you. I found this to be one of the easiest, most effective stoves to use while camping. You can't put it in your bag, but if you've got a camping site that you go to regularly, this uh, super efficient, super effective, easy to build, and I'm going to show it to you real quick, talk to you about how it works, and then I'm going to show you uh, it working. This is one that I use here. Um, this is two 8-inch square cinder blocks. Most cinder blocks you're going to see in the stores are 16 inches or 24. Um, these are 8, 8-inch 8 square. What I did with the bottom one, I took a cold chisel and um, a grinder, and I made a draft hole at the bottom here. And this is where your sticks and your wood are going to be fed into, right here. And how it works is, when you load this, I would suggest loading your first material from the top to the bottom and light from the top. Don't light from the bottom. What we're trying to do is we're trying to create heat and heat rises. The heat will come up and pull a draft in from the bottom. If you simply, if you light it at the bottom, it's not going to start that draft very easily. You're going to have to really work at it. So light it from the top. As your material burns down, it's going to, as it gets hotter and hotter, it's going to pr pull more and more air in from the bottom. And that's what creates that kind of rocket or kind of jet engine effect. It starts feeding itself more and more and more and as it gets hotter and hotter it's going to burn more and more cleanly until you get a smokeless fire. L literally the only thing that will be coming out the top here is just straight heat maybe a couple flames but if you have some all, y all you need is just all you need is just a handful of twigs small twigs you don't have to have any substantial pieces of wood just little things that you would find around your campsite is going to generate plenty of heat to put a cast iron skillet on uh, or, a, or a cast iron Dutch oven and fry, boil, maybe even, even in some cases bake. And so for this one, as you see, I've, I've used some 12 inch lag bolts just to set my pots and pans on top of. Behind these heads here, it's, it, they're square so these don't roll around at all. And um, it works really, really well. And I'm going to show you in just a minute on the second part of this video uh, a clip of when I actually used it at my recent camping trip to uh, actually bake some beans and some other stuff. It's, uh, it's this is my little rocket stove. Little yeah. chimney there. And yeah, pot beans. A little air comes into the bottom. Got the wood in there. Like a little chimney. 